Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and today I will make an overview of a ROM which was also released for the Galaxy S4 many months before. I'm talking about Aurora ROM, it sounds crazy but yeah that's how we will pronounce it, Aurora ROM. Now a little disclaimer before I get into the review, this ROM is still in a beta stage and it is developed by a team of Chinese developers. So you may see some Chinese writings from here to here but I assume they will be fixed in future releases. What is it cool about this ROM, well it uh, comes with a bunch of customization options, some of them are unique, some of them we've already seen, but the overall impression this ROM will give you is somehow different from what you would expect. Of course, as I always do on full overviews, I'll make this one in Wicked Manor. You don't know what a Wicked Manor is? Well, let's check it out. I'll show you what this ROM is all about, how fast and stable it feels, and of course the usual Antutu benchmark and gaming test. Without further ado, Let's get wicked. In order to install this ROM, you'll need TWRP recovery. If you don't know what TWRP recovery is or how to install it, check the video in the car section. The first step of getting this new version installed is to get into TWRP. Then, if you want to back up your current configuration, check the video in the car section on how to do it. Right now, we'll go to install section and choose Aurora ROM. ROM installer should pop up and here I advise you to select clean installation and pay attention to the model number you choose. That's pretty much you can customize in Aroma, at the end of it you should have the ROM installed. You can also reboot your device and take in mind that the first booting process will take up to 7 minutes. My device completely booted up, I have put all my credentials in, played with it for a couple of minutes and the first feature that caught my eyes was when I was installing all the apps that I needed. At some certain moment, after the the installation process, a window with all the permissions asked by that app showed up and let me know which one I want to activate or deactivate. This is such a great feature in terms of privacy purposes, even though apps these days will ask for them when they need access. The second thing that surprised me was the launcher and how the icons and widgets were placed on this ROM. On the second screen you can see some useful third party apps and a smart manager which I haven't really seen until now. It looks great, that's what I told you earlier, you will get a kind of a different impression about this ROM after you flash it. Here you also have the Aroma ROM control app and uh, since we're here let's talk about some customization options because there are many. Starting up with the status bar general settings, here you can hide or show different icons in the status bar, clock, battery, icon and in the more advanced settings they will let you set up the traffic meter, set the battery icon to OG super variety with dozens of battery styles, a battery bar, you can set up different status bar virtual keys to do specific functions like turning off the screen, pressing the home button and so on and so forth. You are able to set the Wi-Fi and mobile icons to left and of course the clock to either left, center or right. A custom carrier name can be also set in the status bar and many many more. What is even more interesting is that you can set up a different action for many buttons like Bixby so that you won't need a different mapping app for that. You can enable lock screen weather, lock screen flashlight and many more. When you long press the power key, you'll get hell of a lot of useful shortcuts to choose from like screenshots, screen record, flashlight, mobile data toggle, etc. There are also tons of other features that can be customized. I won't really get into all of those because it will take me a lot of time. App lock was replaced by some kind of a lock and mask app. Apart from that, yeah, I experienced some false closes in the Aurora settings but it's not such a big deal. Into the benchmark test, I opened up into the benchmark and this is the score it got. The ROM is rock the semi-stock kernel and uh, it is the first time I test it here on my channel. The score was pretty mediocre but since benchmark doesn't mean a lot these days and can be easily hacked, no really need to take them into consideration. Into the gaming test I played some Need for Speed No Limits and Asphalt Extreme and I had absolutely no lag or stuttering which was a great sign. Gameplay was smooth without any hiccups. So yeah, that was pretty much it about this ROM, I hope you like it. For me, it was somehow a different experience from what I always find after I get a new ROM. Wicked score for this ROM is uh, maybe a 4 out of 5. ROM control, lots of features but also lots of bugs that need to be fixed in future releases. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. Until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.